Don't stop your loving, don't stop your loving. No, not for nothing. They don't wanna see me love you. Don't have no something. What is the deal, beautiful people? It's your boy Ramon. Lifestyles defined. Welcome to a, another episode of Aperture. So, in the last episode, I spoke about my newfound love for my trio of Minota lenses, and um, I mentioned at the end of it that I, I really, for me, the test was to take them out on on at Coney Island and test them out to see how how really me personally cope with the the switching of lenses and the the different setups different scenes so on and so forth so you know it it was a challenge i will say this but i didn't go into it blindly in fact the idea was i wanted to get a photo story of coney island and um but i didn't want i didn't want a traditional feel for coney island because it's not peak time right now it's cold as hell it just so happened to be that day it was nice so i wanted to get this really like native feel to coney island where the people that are actually here are they're not tourists they're not people from other parts of the city these are coney island natives and these these people are, are doing what natives do this is how people from coney island behave and act and yada 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 so that was my inspiration that was my goal to go out and capture and and here we're looking a lot of images actually we'll go through them all hopefully you guys enjoy them but uh, I'll, I'll tell you what was captured with what lens and whatnot so you can really get a feel for my endearment for these lenses so this one here was pretty dope uh I actually framed it up, but I waited for this lady to hop in, and this was shot with the 20 millimeter. And uh, this guy, this guy is really sharp, right? You can you can definitely tell that that 20 mil does a damn thing. You can see here in the background, there's some fall off with that bird, but great shot. Uh, again, this is called the uh, the street art wall. So you see here, they got some inside, some more around. They actually paint them, different arts paint them, and and they show it on display but it's it's again it's it's off season so it's closed and you know i gotta actually clean this up look at this i got dust in my lens from, from switching the lenses something i didn't have to worry about when i had one lens but yeah there it is but i really like this 20 mil i you would have to be there to really to really get a an appreciation for how wide this is like this is a lot and i was shocked at how much i could I could fit in a frame with this 20 mil and here it is again i actually cropped this one a little bit but yeah the the you can see the colors the colors are good the colors are vibrant and yes i did already edit these damn i gotta clean this lens look at this i don't know how this made it past production i probably wasn't paying attention so here as you could you probably guess looking at that compression this is the one to 200 so this is one of the, the two of the three lenses i bought the telephoto and it's a 100 to 200 millimeter constant 4.5 and uh, it's it's really good man i mean i was i was a ways off uh it's it's fairly sharp if you look here in the detail you can see the screw the the thing with the thing that really pixel peep in something like this is i could have dialed this in and get it a lot sharper but uh, i would have had to been on my tripod i would have had to to really come in and and dial in the manual focus but i think this is a hell of a result for just an automatic shot right there uh, this guy i thought was interesting it was it was almost like 65 degrees and he's got his big ass gloves in his head and he he doesn't give a shit but yeah this one was shot with the telephoto again and there was a lot more going on around him but i cropped him in and i, I was able to get him from a really a really far ways out and very interesting character uh, i'm a fan of that shot actually this guy again was a telephoto i was a ways out and one of the things i like about the telephoto that one to 200 range is uh with the exception of this guy he looks like he's staring right at me with the uh he's staring into my soul with his eyes of death but what i like was i didn't have to disturb the scene these guys are obviously doing what they're doing these guys right here having their conversations and then you got another conversation going off over here and everyone is pretty sharp man i have no complaints here i really i really did enjoy that that reach and bringing them in uh, here's a great example of that one to 200 you can see the fence here there's a lot of depth you can see the horizon line back here 
God damn it, I gotta clean these images up. Uh, but then here's here's my two shots, uh, brother and sister on top of the Sam Dune having a good time. Uh, I thought this was good. And she's nice and sharp, right? Uh, we, we get some of this flair here, it's okay. Uh, it's not too bad, too, too bad. I, I guess I wouldn't, if I were to print that, you see the purple coming around. If I were to print that, it wouldn't look terrible. This guy, again, 1 to 200, I, I was way off when I pulled him in and I cropped it in a little bit. So I'm able to really get that separation between him and how he's crazy sharp and focused and then the background. So yeah, I was, I was proud of that shot. Here's the Wonder Wheel, the famous Wonder Wheel. And that guy's really far in. This is actually racked all the way out. So I'm currently at 200 right here. And I think it's a nice, tight, sharp shot. Uh, I got no complaints with this shot, man. Waiting for there it goes. Yeah, I, I, I really do enjoy enjoy how this shot came out. I, I thought it was a was a dope was a dope shot indeed. Free hugs, this guy. <laughs> so this guy was giving away free hugs. Of course, he was asking for a donation, and uh, we didn't have any cash to give him donation, so sucks sorry but i got you on the picture son yeah but there's a good bit of separation and again you guys i hope you're really enjoying the story of coney allen right because these are things that when people tell you about coney allen you wouldn't necessarily think but this is everyday life at coney allen and you got over back here you see what's going on in the background you'll you'll see a picture from that later it's pretty dope here's actually one of my favorite shots for the day uh which I thought was phenomenal because this guy was on the beach feeding the goddamn seagulls. You feed the seagulls and they, they continue this scumbag behavior like Nemo, right? They're all like, mine, mine. This is exactly how to behave. So what what really interests me about this shot was the birds were, it's kind of difficult to for you to understand just by looking at the still, but the birds were literally just hovering in this area because it was windy and they were just hovering over him, right? And he was, he first he was throwing the bread, then he gave up and he had it up in his hand and they actually came, took it right out of his hand. But then you had these guys down here who were just looking at it, the whole thing go down. And <laughs> it was just a dope scene, man. You got other people on the beach doing that thing. But here is what I think is, is the funny part of this. <laughs> man, what do you think that is right there, guys? You guessed it. The birds taking a shit, dirty ass birds. But yeah, I thought this was a this was a dope shot. I really like that shot. Hair, uh, similar as well. The birds mobbing the mobbing the beach in the background. These guys are working out. Uh, I like how this one came out as well because it showed a lot of character. These guys were doing their thing. I was probably I don't think I racked it out all the way. I was probably like 150, 160 here. Uh, this I like so for those of you who don't know and I don't even know the entire history behind this organization but I know that these people like to wait to the winter to run in the ocean and I'm not with that shit at all I, interestingly enough I thought they were cheating because it was a really nice day out like you guys are supposed to be out here when it's two degree weather but they're out there nonetheless and, and I was able to get a get a dope image this guy waving the flag coming back they had obviously just went for a swim but this right here, man, I, I love this. I was across the boardwalk. So let me see if I can find another image of the boardwalk to show you. So this, these guys were on a wall over here and I was literally across the boardwalk, right? And I, I want you to see something here. This guy's incredibly sharp, right? Like I can zoom all the way in on his, his watch waiting for the goddamn application. Look how sharp that is. Same one to 200, right? And I'm really enjoying the range. And and look at this, guys. You can tell that he's cold. He's got the goosebumps all over him. It was kind of windy. Uh, these two are having a good time. She's got some really dope body art as well. This lady is just sort of embracing the sun. And then you have this person here to the left to give the entire shot some depth. Uh, I really like this shot, man. Very colorful. Very Coney Island native. He's got the hat on. It's it's just a dope shot. Shout out to John. Uh, damn, what is John's Instagram? J O 
J O N N. I don't. I don't know, man. I'll get the Instagram in this link. Follow John on Instagram as well. <laughs> if you guys don't, another portrait of John. So this was shot with the fifty against that wall. Uh, I wasn't really. I wasn't really too impressed with it. I don't know what it was. Probably was me. I, I probably didn't have those. I had the f stop at a, a good enough. A good enough setting there but this one came out a lot better a lot sharper it's actually a really good portrait i like this one a lot and again here is here is the uh this is the i think this is the 20 mil yeah i put the 20 mil on and this is man this is a lot of landscape to cover right here and you see the pair over there the yonda in the background uh, i like it i like it a lot now this, I don't know, this little parachute thing here. This is one of the things uh, outside of the city that you can see from a long ways away. There's a lot of lights on this ride. It's not even, it's an old parachute ride. I don't know how to, they used to haul people up and just drop them off in parachutes. But it no longer functions. It's just, it's just like a light tower pretty much. But right here I was laying down on the ground like flat on the ground getting this shot and I think it came out really nice you can tell the scale you can tell by the curve going up this is one of the issues I've been having with the 20 mil It's very susceptible to lens flare so Jerry recommend a, a UV filter I gotta get one to try it out but I was very happy with this shot overall I wish the lens flare wasn't there but it's okay I think it adds some character uh, sometimes for me less perfection is what makes perfection uh, here's a, a nice shot I got with the, the dad uh, I actually have a better shot but I, I like this film is colored I added on the uh, in Lightroom and it gives it this really moment feel to it and I, I wish I knew this guy that I could just hand this shot off to him I feel like this is something you would you would definitely frame and put in the living room but yeah, he was he was trying to encourage the youngest to come over and feed the birds. And this guy here, he was just terrorizing the birds on the other side. So uh, I thought it was, a, it was a dope family moment. Here's the other shot. The dad, <laughs> the dad wasn't paying attention. And, and this guy came in really aggressive. And the kid was sort of like, whoa. And then off to the right, you got, again, like I said, he's, he's just, the, he doesn't give a shit. He's terrorizing everything. So that that was a cool shot and then of course you see everything in the backgrounds and then there's nathan's right but i didn't i didn't want to get a cornball shot of nathan's and millions of people in there i wanted you guys to feel uh that it's a fast food place and it's got some history to it right where do you know sells hot dogs on the beach with beer so yeah and it's got that very famous green and yellow uniform going on uh this is my absolute favorite shot so I actually watched this guy and uh, I can't believe how sharp this thing came out. This was my 100 to 200 again. Um, I can't believe it. I was just in awe when I got home and saw how sharp this entire shot was. And mind you, I cropped it a bit to, to really tighten it and, and give the scene some meaning. Uh, but this guy's obviously, uh, he's homeless and he was asking for help and these two young ladies came along and they gave him some change. and. And I thought that was dope. I was able to capture the moment. So this is my favorite shot from from the story. Nathan's, you all know what that is. And we got some random art uh, that's all over Coney Island. What's interesting <laughs> about this and why I chose it is, you know, Coney Island has got this very distinct feel to it. Uh, you would think it's all about the kids, but a lot of this shit's scary. Look at this, man. I don't want my goddamn kid to see this. I don't even want to see this. But this type of stuff's all over Coney Island. It's got that grit to it, that that, that grimy shit. Uh, here's that wide angle again. My God, I love it. Uh, it did a good job in the sun here. I don't see any lens flare. There's a little bit of lens flare here. Uh, but man, I love this lens. And again, now that I'm not up on it, you really get a sense for how tall this tower really is. And it really looks dope at night. Uh, one night I got to go out there and capture it, especially when they're doing the fireworks. But... I was damn near able to capture this whole, the length of this whole roller coaster, but that was a good shot. There's some more wall art. Again, with that 20, uh, foreground is really prominent. It's just the lines just sort of lead you back. Uh, I really like that. Stop the violence. That's a dope message. Dope colors. Uh, here's John's girl. Just got a quick portrait. I, I like the way the, uh, I like the way the boardwalk was reflected in her glasses. And the interesting part about this is, uh, this is actually with the 20 millimeter. 
and uh, I could say I'm not a fan of portraits with 20 millimeter because a 20 millimeter or even wide angle lenses because you get this distortion right like you can see how these lines are distorted here and then she her face itself has got this weird distortion so what I found is if you're gonna do it you got to make sure that you're up close and you got to make sure that the the subject is dead in the center and and it, it'll look okay if I'd have had her a little wolf hair it, her ears it'll look long and uh, but it came out good I like that one yeah, it's just random landscape shot some people riding on the boardwalk these guys just chilling fishing and again there's that tower how really tall that is actually I, I thought about this after I'll probably go back and make this a black and white just give it some more mood uh, here's a dope shot I really like I, I like the fact that these two dogs are going hand they're running up and down and they sort of formed a circle they they did this u-turn to both of them and I was like oh shit that's kind of dope so I was able to capture it then we've got the shadow from the boardwalk here we've got the silhouette of myself and John uh, and then we've got almost the entire Coney Island here in the background. And that's how wide that lens is. You see the Wonder Wheel there. You can see a cyclone somewhere back there. Yeah, there's a, here's a cyclone. So, yeah, it, it's, it's a pretty sharp lens, man. Uh, this entire sign wrapped around the building said Carousel. Uh, and these guys were playing some pretty dope Puerto Rican music. I'm not sure what the music is called, but it was kind of cool. You sat there, you listened to it for a little bit. Uh, got a nice shot of them doing their thing. The Thunderbolt, that was the roller coaster that stretched. People just enjoying the walk. Uh, more people enjoying the walk. This guy was just chilling. Didn't have a care in the world. And this, this to me, this shot was the essence of, of what I wanted to capture, right? Because there's not a million people running around the boardwalk, but people who are there are just relaxing they're doing their thing and they're natives right this is this is what a native looks like he's chilling in his lawn chair this guy I had to capture it's funny because I don't know what the fuck he's drawing but he's into it and I thought he's gonna punch me in the face because I was literally like a foot away from this guy to get this shot <laughs> this was shot with the 20 mil and um, it's it's insane how close you got to get up to somebody to really get that detail but yeah <laughs> But that, yeah, that's that's the last one. So, I mean, what what did I learn from from these the trio of lenses? I I think the 50 was my least favorite here today for for this photo story. Uh, I I was very I was very pleased with the way the entire photo story came out, and I think it was very successful. I was able to capture exactly what I wanted to capture. Uh, and I, I thought it was interesting that the 50 was my least favorite because I either wanted the range to pull somebody in to really get that street portrait or I wanted the entire scene and that that meant my wide angle. So it, it's it's interesting to me. Right. And I, I hear people shoot with 50s. A lot of people shoot with 50s for street photography or that's their main lens. I, I just can't do it. Maybe I need some more time. Maybe it's just not me. Maybe I should find me a 35 millimeter and see how that works out. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Ramon. This is Lifestyles Defined. Thank you for stopping by. I'm out of here. Peace. Quick note before I get out of here. Uh, Lifestyles Defined is coming up on our fourth year in existence in April and we always celebrate by having a party because there's a lot of people involved and a lot of hard work and there's so many levels to this right even if you talk about ignorant gamers and 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 how we you know we have a very good presence on instagram and blah 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 uh, a lot of you guys already know the spiel now uh we went ahead and had a design or i came up with a design actually for what i'm calling the ld love collection you should see that right now. Uh, you can get the link on the website. When you hit the websites at the top right, uh, you can get it on our Facebook page. You can get it on our Instagram, uh, Twitter, not so much. You know, Twitter moves a mile a minute. So the idea here is a lot of the uh, the profit from from this these T-shirts, these hoodies. Uh, if, if you think it's dope enough and we'd be honored if you do think it's dope enough and something you would actually wear, uh, it goes toward not the party but the general maintenance of the channel and and we we've been fighting to get our budget up and and get our resources together so we can get more things more 
uh, phones to review, tablets, laptops, all of that stuff. So this is us putting stuff in motion, and we would really appreciate your support. And the way you do so is by heading to the link and checking out the merch and letting me know if you like it. And, and hit that hit that buy button if you really like it. And even if you don't like it, just leave a comment below. Let us know how you feel about it. If, if you know, any feedback you have on it, any things you would like us to do in the future, any ideas you got. Dopeness. I'm out of here. Peace.